I lost nine pounds this week. Nine English pounds. And between us, we've lost a stone and a pound. Today is a medical day because today is the day that this one over here gets her second um, secret vaccination that I st I'm not sure if we can say the name of them on, on YouTube yet so I still won't but she's having her second jab today which means it's a very busy day because rather than having my normal all day to do my football manager videos I've got this morning because her jab is at lunchtime Lunch right time. near right near where Andy's school is, and we've got stuff that we have to go to B&M, so I'm getting a treat for taking her out in the middle of the day. I get to go to B&M and look at the wrestlers and have some lunch outside of the house. Not in them, you're not. What? You are not going out like that. Apparently I'm not allowed out in my new shorts, <laughs> my new sexy shorts. The car um, was fine, but you are going out. Well, don't worry, I've got new walking shorts that I can wear later. You're not wearing what the hell are walking I don't know, I bought some walking shorts. And the other medical exciting news um, is I lost nine pounds this week. Nine English pounds. So between us, we've lost a stone and a pound. Yeah, we've lost loads of weight this week. So that's why we're both looking so slender. As you can see, look at us being slender. Um, but, but you're yeah. doing different to me, aren't you? Yeah, she's doing intermittent fasting. I've now fully gone into Weight Watchers. If you want to see exactly what I'm doing, I'm tracking every single meal and weighing over on my TikTok at Mr. Kevin Chapman. But yeah, nine pounds down. I spoke to the doctor again yesterday about all the heart stuff, and I have been banned from going to the gym until after I've been for an echocardiogram, whatever that means, at the end of June. So that gym membership that I paid for a year in advance for three hundred and fifty pounds and went to twice. I'm now banned from going to for at least the next month, fingers crossed. Once I've got that out of the way and been given the all clear, I'll be able to go back there. But they basically said, the only exercise I'm allowed to do before then is walking because they're not sure what will happen to my heart if my heart rate goes up too high because the issue that caused everything off is that it went high and wouldn't go back down again. And they're a little bit concerned that if it goes high, it won't come back down naturally again. So I'm not allowed to raise my heart rate too far, which means no... Uh, no making me do housework, chores, cutting the grass and all that. That's more strenuous than walking. Can't empty the bins. Yes, Can't. you can. And we've also finally got our weekly shop coming this week, which means we've got all of our Weight Watchers meals that I've been planning. So I've got doing a little bit of batch cooking, a little bit of meal prep and some really healthy dinners. If you have been watching what I've been tracking over on TikTok, Although I've been following the Weight Watchers plan, I've been following it in the least healthy way possible this week. Still lost nine pounds, but like we've had Domino's Pizza, we've had Subway, we've had, I feel like there's more examples of unhealthy food. Sausages. But yeah, we had, yeah, hot dogs. Um, I had half a chicken for tea the other night. So as starting tonight, it's going to be proper healthy Weight Watchers recipes which means I can then start having some other food throughout the rest of the day as well, because at the moment, I'm effectively, I'm, well, I'm not starving myself breakfast and lunch, I'm having a tiny breakfast, tiny lunch, and then having a big dinner, whereas now I can spread it out a little bit more evenly over the day. And fingers crossed, continue to lose weight, which is awesome, but now, because it is a busy day, because I've got every, because I've got to get everything done by lunchtime, I need to go get a suit on, make some football manager videos. I imagine we'll check in again at the vaccination place before we head to the shops. Dave, people have been asking to see more of you in the videos. Can you just come here? I'm coming. Dave, people want to see more of you. They also want to know why you haven't cut the grass yet. The grass is long. Why have you not cut it yet? We, we built a shed to put the lawnmower in and we've only used the lawnmower once. I feel like that's your fault, Dave. Because you keep pooing on the grass. Well, it's fine. Can you stop pooing on the grass, Dave? We, got, we need to train him to poo on the patio. What is it? What is it? Find it. Dave. What is that? Dave. Move. You're supposed to be showing off for the camera a little bit. Oh. No, he doesn't want to show off for the camera. Come on. Right, I'm going to go and do some work now. I think he loves me the more he loves you. No, you, you do. You do love me. Yes, you do. <laughs> Not happy about this situation at all. Don't know how she does it. We went in there with nothing in particular in mind. We come out with two bags full and she spent £40. To be fair, 
a lot of it is on crisps for Andy, which we couldn't get in the shopping order this week. And then she's got a few TikTok toys. Apparently she's going to be doing toy things on TikTok. But yeah, two massive bagfuls. And the only thing in there for me is a bowl to put salad in. We just nipped into Audi to pick up a couple of essentials that we weren't able to get in the shop in, like flat peaches um, and sushi for me to have for lunch. But have you seen these? I took a picture of them. They've done their own version of the Big Mac and looking on the internet, it looks like they've got all sorts of other stuff as well that is almost exact replicas of McDonald's packaging. I was very tempted to buy one if I hadn't been on a diet. If I'd have seen them last week, absolutely would be buying a big stack to have for my lunch, as it is. I'm gonna munch on my sushi. Well, we were looking for something to keep ourselves occupied for the remaining 40 minutes or so until we can pick Andy up from school. And Anna suggested we come to a second Audi to try and find their version of the McMuffin. This one looks like a smaller Audi than the one we were just at. told me to find something to do. I did as he asked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like the fact that your instinct was to kill us. go to another Audi. I didn't try to kill you. Twice. you. I was just distracted by some dogs and almost crashed into a van. Everyone's been there. Let's go to Audi. It's raining. Muffins! Success in there. We did cave and buy a big stack. We also got some chicken nuggets as well. I'll put a picture of them in their packaging on here. We're not gonna eat them today because I don't have enough Weight Watchers points left, but we're gonna try and squeeze them in to be our lunch tomorrow. Half a big stack and some nuggets each for lunch and we'll do a proper uh, McDonald's style stuff for at Aldi taste test. Exactly, it's all part, of, this is all for um, research and entertainment purposes. We're gonna try that stuff so you don't have to, unless it's nice and then you can. A little disappointed they didn't have the hash browns or any of the breakfast stuff in there because everyone knows the best stuff at McDonald's is the breakfast stuff. And we're back home. Andy's had another very good day at school. Um, after the little bit of a wobble he had on Monday, last couple of days, he's absolutely loved it. Been fine, gone in without a problem, come out without a problem, just generally been happy to be there. I think he, now he's got it in his head that he's only there for one more day and then it's the holiday. He's much happier being there now. And yeah, another very good day. We are back with 15 minutes to spare. The Tesco order is going to be here soon. It is a big one. Anyone who's ever started a diet knows how that first shopping order is. We've got all of the herbs and spices and, and various flavour liquids that you get when you're first starting out on a diet. It's a big one. It's an expensive one. It'll be here very, very soon. But I'm also going to be doing my first batch cooked recipe as part of it as well. We bought some Weight Watchers cookbooks. Um, there's this one. And the one that we're using is this one. This has got a recipe in it for chicken paprikash, which I've not had before, but apparently you have it with like pasta or noodles or something. Paprika flavored chicken with some veg. Um, but the recipe that I'm doing is enough to feed eight people. So I've bought some of those, um, I call it like airline meal trays, like you get from the Chinese, the little foil tray with a cardboard, cardboard cardboard lid. I've got some sticky labels. I've got a pack of Sharpies. So we'll be eating two portions, freezing the other six portions. So that's in a meal that we can have every week for the next month. My plan is every week, do a couple of batch cooked meals like that, rather than doing a big old batch cooked day, if every week I do two meals where I have to cook a load of portions, obviously at the moment we're then gonna to have to cook on the other days as well, but before too long, we're at the point where a couple of days a week I'm cooking and the rest of the week I'm reheating stuff out of the freezer from the previous three weeks. That's the plan, we're trying to simplify this. It did involve a spreadsheet that planned food for the next 90 days, but after all of that complication, I think it is simplified. I love to overcomplicate things, even simplification. Boys and girls, I have just done the live Q&A that came out on the channel yesterday. If you didn't get a chance to see it live, it doesn't appear in the same way videos. Sorry. Can I help you? It doesn't appear on the channel in the same way videos normally do, but if you scroll down on the homepage of the channel, there is a playlist for past live streams. So if you wanna see it, you can go on there and have a little look on that. But I've just come in on here to check in on how the, uh, the invalid is doing, how the poorly person is doing after your, after your jab, how are you doing? Oh, temperature. You've got a temperature? Nope, no temperature. Why, oh, you don't know how to do temperature. Well, you're not warm. 
Well, I am one because I can feel myself. That's not how it works, is it? My arm hurts. Yeah. You're lying on it, though, aren't you? So it doesn't hurt that much. I couldn't lie on my bad arm after mine was done. But you had your left arm, and now you're lying on it. It doesn't hurt my lie on it, but it hurts when I get up. Yeah. Feels so, like... in summary, Anna's completely fine. <laughs> Are you streaming tomorrow? Mm. Yeah, see, she's fine to stream. You can see where I burnt my thumb on the my kettle. Arm up in the morning. You'll be able to lift your arm up, it'll be fine. <laughs> oh dear. Right, I am going to. Uh, why is the light so bad all of a sudden? I'm going to wrap this up there. I think this has been quite a short video today, but to be honest, it's been one of those days. There's not been a huge amount going on. We did a bit of shopping, we cooked a little bit, and Anna got injected with drugs so you know it's not not a spectacular day you'll get quite a lot of non-spectacular days but andy has one more day at school then it's half term i don't know what we have planned for half term yet lots of work and fit some fun in around the work somewhere hopefully have we got plans for half term yet apparently we're going to wicksteed park again so we i get to see the every day. Oh, no, but i know but i know i like the meerkats i'll go back to wicksteed park awesome you wanted to go without him